and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union here at the Union's annual conference in Blackpool where a conference has been discussing the vital issue of fire service pay. We're joined by General Secretary Matt Rack. Matt, in that debate, delegate after delegate talked about the fall in pay and the hardship that it's causing fire service professionals, specifically since 2010. Whole time, retained, control, the cuts have been dramatic in terms of pay. What actually are the figures that are getting used in regard to this? Yeah, Sam, it was a, a very important debate on pay. Uh, the TUC uh, has done research on public sector workers' pay, and they estimated that firefighters, uh, in real terms, are at least uh, £2,000 a year worse off than they were before the freight pay freeze started. Some of our own research suggests that's probably even worse uh, than that. So considerable loss in real earnings as a result of uh, the government's pay freeze since 2010 uh, and that was reflected in, in the debate at conference. The figures are one thing, it's the impact on people's ability to pay the mortgage, pay the bills, pay the rent, you know, feed the kids and so on, that's the impact that it's now having on people. Well clearly pay cap has been devastating for our members but you put forward a very robust strategy in terms of making a pay claim for this year. Uh, what is the claim and what's it based on? Yeah, we have uh, been doing some research, uh, the Executive Council's commissioned, uh, using pay, uh, well-respected pay researchers, IDR, and they looked at two things. One is the, um, the impact of the pay freeze and what's that done to living standards, and the other one is a, a job evaluation type work. So they've looked at the work that firefighters are undertaking, and this, this involved workplace interviews in fire stations around the country. Uh, and they compared that with the work firefighters were doing uh, a decade or so ago. Uh, and, and on the basis of that, we can argue, uh, we think, very clearly that there has been an expansion of the roles. Uh, some, of it, some of it's a bit surprising, don't been, but there's been an expansion of the roles, expansion of responsibilities, knowledge and so on. Um, and particularly, we also looked at some of the newer areas, including some of the trials like the EMR trials that have been going on. Uh, and I think we, we are pulling that together to make an evidence-based pay claim to the employer. So there's two arguments. One is we need to catch up with the, the, what's been lost. And two, we, we need to take account of the changing role of the Fire and Rescue Service. So it's a robust evidence-based claim. But of course, we have to make it to our employers through the National Joint Council. What do you anticipate the reaction of the employers to be? And actually, what would the response of the union be if the employers didn't come up with professional pay? Yeah, well, I don't think anyone in this conference expects any of this to be easy, and I'm sure the members will appreciate that. There's still a government 1% pay cap uh, currently. Uh, we've got a meeting with the employers at the National Joint Council on the 1st of June. We'll submit a pay claim. Uh, if they don't uh, respond with an offer, then clearly that uh, is a very serious step. And for example, we've made clear to them to the uh, to conference today, and we will make clear to the employers that actually uh, areas of work such as the EMR trials would would cease at that point um, if they don't address they can't expect our members to carry on working outside of their core role for nothing without addressing the issue of sustainability and that sustainability includes the question of pay and Mark what's the dates that our members can expect all this to happen around that's a good question Tam uh, so the the National Joint Council meets on the 1st of June uh, we are aware that there's a, a, there seems to be a, a bit of a difficulty of some employers meeting because of the general election. Uh, so th there may be further discussions after the 1st of June. But the pay settlement date is the 1st of July. So I think between June and July is going to be some very serious discussions, negotiations between ourselves and the employers. So the FBU members really need to keep an eye yes, on what's happening yeah, this need summer. to follow uh, closely during that period. Thanks so much, Matt. You can follow updates on this at our website. That's www.fbu.org.uk. For more immediate updates on the work of conference, you can follow us on Twitter at FBU National. And we've got a specific hashtag for conference, and that's hashtag FBU17. Thanks very much.